A few months ago, I showed a work in progress to some juggler friends of mine, an act called Four Finales. Beforehand, I explained that each of the four types of juggling represent four different countries or places. But before I could list those places, my friend said they wanted to watch the full routine first and then make some guesses. Needless to say, they guessed correctly for all four sections. However, in the discussions that followed, there was some confusion over which sections were which. They were using the terms mixed prop juggling and combination trick interchangeably. I couldn't understand because to me they are two clearly very different forms of juggling, at least in my head. But it seems that many jugglers don't have as many labels for these categories of juggling as I do, or at least don't have them so well defined. So this video is about my personal understanding of some juggling form terminology. Having clarity on these juggling forms has allowed me to focus my efforts as a professional juggler and to have a less muddled understanding of new juggling when I see it. First up is mixed prop juggling. This is a single juggling trick or pattern that incorporates two or more different kinds of juggling prop. The kind of throw, catch or manipulation being done at any moment is determined by the physical properties of the object at hand. So a cascade with a ball a ring and a club is a single pattern, but each throw needs a slightly different technique. If the ring and ball swap places, the resulting pattern can stay the same, but the techniques change. A multiplex with a club and a ring is different to a multiplex with a club and a ball, and both are different to a multiplex with a ring and a ball, but the underlying pattern can remain the same. Of course, some interactions between two objects might be unique to those exact props, but all props will be juggled within the same pattern at some point, or will touch, support, catch or launch another kind of prop. If it's possible for two props to swap places within a trick or pattern, even if they're not swapping places at any specific moment, I still consider it mixed prop juggling, a single kind of skill or technique, like toss juggling, with a mix of props. And this is different to combination trick juggling. Sure, a mix of different props are being juggled, but the props aren't mixing, nor can they be mixed. Each prop has a specific skill or technique it is designed for, and it stays within those bounds for the length of the trick. With the Brun combination trick, there isn't a version where the ball whirls around the arm and the ring is spun on the finger. There isn't merely a different technique for each object in a typical combination trick, but the physical properties of the objects determine what is achievable when included in the same moment of juggling. If all the objects are the same, it can still be a combination trick, and that can be made more clear with a different colour prop. So I ask myself this question, is there a combination of different juggling skills sharing one trick or pattern? or a mix of different juggling props sharing one skill or technique. And I say juggling skills specifically, because as soon as non-juggling skills are mixed in, it becomes a different form of juggling. A non-juggling skill is something that, if done by itself, nobody would default to calling it a juggling trick, even if they saw it during a juggling or circus show. And for this form, I use the terminology while juggling. It's juggling plus something else. In fact, sometimes I think of it as while juggling, and other times I think of it as juggling while. Solve a Rubik's Cube while juggling. Take off all your clothes while juggling. Turn in a circle while juggling. You can do something acrobatic while juggling. You start juggling, do another skill, finish that other skill and then stop juggling. The inverse of that is juggling while riding a unicycle, juggling while standing on a chair, juggling while balancing on your head on a swinging trapeze. You start with a non-juggling skill, then begin juggling, then stop juggling, and then stop doing the other skill. The order of the words while and juggling is determined by which begins and ends first, the juggling skill or the non-juggling skill. The same two skills can be combined either way. Do you start and end with juggling, or do you start and end with the other skill? The difference between juggling while and while juggling is important for performing, and also that one is nested inside the other. You don't want to step off the roll of bowler before finished juggling as it feels like a failure, even though there's not a dropped juggling prop. And as these are labels that can be multiply applied to a single trick, it's possible to hum a tune while doing a combination trick with mixed prop juggling while on a roller bowler. To bring it back to the original conversation, my friends guessed immediately that the seven rings on the roller bowler was the Russian section of the act. Of course, I said, I'm channeling my inner Alexander Kiss. Then they asked me why not also balance something on my head like Alexander Kiss. I answered that I wanted clarity. There's already a moment of balancing in the mixed prop section, and a balance is one element of the Brun finish. So to add another balance to the Russian section would mean it's a combination trick while on a roller 
bowler rather than more simply juggling while on a roller bowler. The act would have too much balancing and no matter how much I would love to do something crazy on a roller bowler in this act, such a trick would infringe on the combination trick finale. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll be back in the future to share more juggling terminology and how I use it, and how having defined labels to attach to juggling concepts allows for more clarity in performing, in research, and in the general enjoyment of juggling. If you'd like to support the production of more videos like this and all my other juggling projects, please consider becoming a patron of mine on patreon.com. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Luke Boage because I've got literally no more paid juggling gigs lined up for the rest of this year. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.